Kenneth Walker uh, was sentenced to three and a half years in prison and has also been put on the Sex Offenders Register for Life. Let me tell you how these members of the public did this. They set up a profile on a chat website and they pretended to be a 13-year-old girl. Now, Kenneth Walker then saw that photograph, contacted the girl who in real life were Dark Justice and he said this, Hi, how are you? Want to chat? You looking for a boyfriend or sex fun? He asked. Then the female uh, replied, I'm 13, almost 14, and from Newcastle. Now, despite this, despite Dark Justice saying this girl was just 13 years old, within about six minutes, the court heard that the conversation turned sexual, and Kenneth Walker wrote things like, I would do anything for you. Now, 10 days after that message exchange, Kenneth Walker uh, had booked a coach ticket. He travelled from Nottingham to Newcastle to meet this girl. Uh, the court heard today that he had brought a blanket, uh, cider, alcohol, uh, vodka as well, and contraceptives with him. Then Dark Justice identified him and contacted the police. Now, what we learned today at Newcastle Crown Court is that uh, Kenneth Walker is deaf. He had to uh, communicate with the court via an interpreter. And the defence lawyer, Jeff Taylor, said this. He's a very, very, very sad individual who's led a solitary existence. His communication with the outside world appears to be with the computer because he can't communicate with individuals. Now, the judge, Jamie Hill QC, that he recognised, he said he recognised that Kenneth Walker did have a disability, uh, but he said they were aggravating features in this case. He said, it was said on your behalf that you're not a predatory paedophile, but when the opportunity was put your way, you seized it. And as I say, 37-year-old Kenneth Walker has been sentenced to three and a half years in prison and will be on the Sex Offenders Register for life.